The Money Shots have been waiting a whole season for this. They're ready to play their rival B&B. They've played for years. They've played in different leagues. Each team has gotten the best of each other. Usually the game comes down to one run. It's never a blowout, and these guys love to play each other. It looks like B&B has done a re little reloading to, to try to compete with the Mike and Money Shots. One thing is for certain, you're in for one heck of a broadcast. I'm Josh Ingleby. This is Mike and Money Shots Softball. <laughs> So we start off the first inning. Kevin Moser pitches the ball, and the first right off the bat, there's a ground ball right over to Cody Salberg playing second base. Daryl's up to the plate, loves to go to right field, and sure enough, right down right field, there he goes. Ryan Salberg out in the outfield today, comes over, makes the play, throws into his brother. Dante's out playing right this game. Did a little bit of shifting around during the B&B &B game because this game is a big game, and we have a hit to left field. B&B &B comes around. Daryl makes his way to third. Is he going to be out? Ooh, maybe if Vernie catches that ball at third base, maybe we got an out there. Great throw in from the outfield. But runners at second and third with one out. So Kevin up to the plate, who would like to actually play for the money shots, comes up with a big hit. Looks like it's going to be in the gap in left center. Who knows how much that hamstring is affecting Aaron Knight out there in left center field. But ball comes in, two-run score. It's uh, quickly 2 nothing BNB, runner on second base. And the coach of B&B, &B, Robert, up to the plate. He hits the ball down the third baseline, and it squeezes past the diving of Vernie Casca, and Rich Blum playing short dives, misses the ball too. So we got runners at first and third. One of the gentlemen that came in to play for B&B &B in this game hits the ball out of the outfield, and it's in the gap. We got another run in. Robert makes his way around to third. Lonnie into second base. B&B &B just continues to pile it on here in the top of the first inning. Juan with that nice new Mike and bat. And we got a play at first, so we got one out there. Ball comes into home. They're trying to get the player at home there, and Josh throws just a little outside there. You know what? Maybe if that guy catching there, AJ, if he could jump, maybe he would have got that ball. So we got a couple outs, and Mark hits the ball out of the outfield. So B&B &B keeps the hit parade coming. See how many runs they can score in this inning. Try to get out to a big lead over the money shots, who are undefeated. And we have another hit out into the outfield. This one is in the gap. Mark chugs his way around at the fence. Ryan brings the ball into Rich, gets away a little bit, and we got a runner at third base. Mike and money shots have got to get an out here. So we got the ball in. Pogue puts the ball over to second base. Oh, Cody Salberg, usually sure glove there at second base, misses it. There's something wrong with that ball. Ryan Salberg's bouncing around all over the place out there. And we got to see if he can make the second out of the inning. Yes, so. Oh, and the ball was dropped at first base. So he led the inning off with an out, hits the ball at second base again, and the ball goes over to first base, and they miss it. So Darryl coming back up, goes over to right field. And it's a foul ball. He fouls out, and that is the end of the inning for the B and B. So B and B ends the inning, going up nine nothing on the Mike and Money shots. Let me tell you something right now. Like a man that does fat chick porn, the Money shots have dug themselves into a deep hole. <laughs> AJ Anger, coach of the Mike and Money Shots, daring you to take the Money Shot Challenge. While you're watching your favorite Money Shots games this year on moneyshots.worldbreak.com, here's what you want to do. Sit down with two beers. Every time the Money Shots score a run, you take a drink. And we got one run in, we got two runs in, you take a drink. Salberg over to you take a drink. Scotty round second. He's making his way into third, and it is a basis clearing triple. You take it, you take it, you take it, you take it, you take a drink. If the money shots hit a double, you take a drink out of each beer. You 
get to drink out of each beer. beer. And if the money shots hit a shot, pitch the ball. He just tries to burn the left center fielder, and it might be, it could be, will slap my ass and call me Susie. Just trying to burn the left center fielder, Scotty Clay hits a solo home run. You take a shot. This week's shot is the jizzer. It is a special shot just for the money shots. First you take the unofficial soft drink of the money shot squirt, and you mix in a shooter of your favorite vodka. You mix that in with a little bit of a passion fruit taste on there, and you have the jizzer. So remember that. Play the Mike and Money Shot Shot Challenge at home. That's right. Take it from the doctor. It's Money Shot Softball season. Yo, hey! Aaron Knight leads off the bottom half of the first inning, and he leads it off with a walk. So trying to get something going on here down 9 to nothing. So he's going to go over to first base, and it's going to bring up Cody Salberg. He's going to clear out what little dirt there is left on the field. And he hits the ball down into the left field. It's going to drop. So we got a runner. We got Aaron making his way around second, making his way around third. He's going to go ahead and score, and Cody's in at the stand-up triple. So 9-1 to one now, the uh, money shots are down. So Rich Blum batting left-handed today. Puts a little squeaker right up there to second base. They make the play, throw over to first, but the run comes in to score. So 9-2 quickly for the uh, Mike and Money uh, money Shots down. Josh puts one right past third base. So Josh Macklin's got something working today, and he goes ahead and gets another runner up there for Mike and Money Shots. So one out, two runs in. Josh at first. Scotty Clay comes up, puts the ball over into right center field. Ball bounces around over there and still got runners at first and second. Vern Casca playing in a game here for him. Goes right back up the same hole that Scotty just hit at. See if Josh can make it around to score. He's going to stop at third. So now the bases are loaded here with Ryan Salberg, former b, &B player up to the plate. Puts one over into right field, and it's going to drop. Oh, and it's rolling into the corner. Josh is in. Scotty's making his way around. He is in. Here comes Vern. He's chugging his way around. And, yes, Ryan Salberg has himself an in-the-park grand slam. So quickly, that gets a few runs back. That is real nice when you put yourself down 9 to nothing to be able to get six runs back real quickly like that. Dante Brown comes up, puts one right underneath Mark's glove at second base, and he's going to round first. This is good. Every time they get uh, something going here, it always starts out with that single. So Kevin comes back up here, hits the ball back to first base. They force Dante out at second. Ball gets away over there, but I don't believe Kevin's going anywhere. So now there's two outs here for the Mike and Money shots. Jake up at the plate, lines one right over to Daryl. Daryl picks it right up off the ground. So, yep, just a little bit higher. He might have got it over his head. So they get a couple of runs back, and the Mike and Money shots go into the second inning down 9-6. to six. Are you tired of driving around in your old piece of crap? When your when your when your when your when your credit, credit gets pulled, do you hear this sound? Bad credit doesn't mean no car. In fact, a new car is one of the best ways to restructure your credit. There's one place ready to help you make your dreams come true. Colorado Credit Zone. Colorado Credit Zone has helped thousands in the area get a new ride and their lives back in order. All you have to do is log on to ColoradoCreditZone.com and start moving in the right direction. ColoradoCreditZone.com has thousands of cars to choose from, and you don't have to worry about your score being in the crap. ColoradoCreditZone.com. Drive something new and hot today. An official sponsor of Money Shot Softball. Top of the second inning here for Mike and Money Shot Softball. b, &B still up 9-6. And, ooh, looks like they're going to start off the inning right where they left off, but it is a line out, out into the outfield. Ryan Salberg makes the play. So quickly, one down for B&B. &B. Brings up Kevin here to hit against uh, Mike and Money Shots. And he puts one out into the outfield. Ooh, and he is out as well. So quickly, they got two outs. Much, much different game. Oh, we had a little bit of technical difficulties there and missed a couple of things. And unfortunately, we pick up right where B&B &B starts to hit again. So B&B's got a couple more runs on the board, and this speedy man comes around and scores again. As you can tell by the look on the Mike and Money Shots' faces, they knew they were in for a battle, and sure enough, right off the bat, B&B &B starts hitting the ball. So we missed a few batters there for some uh, technical difficulties, but we get to pick up right where B&B &B starts hitting the ball quite a bit here. 
So, in fact, B&B tonight made sure they didn't drink before the game because that's how badly they wanted to beat the Mike and Money shots. We'll see if it actually pays off for them. Right now, they're sure piling on some runs, but they better pile on some runs. B&B has been known to blow big leads against the Mike and Money shots. Finally, they are out of the inning, and at the end of two innings, they come back and they score three more runs, up 12 to 6. Dr. Egger leads it off in the bottom half of the third inning, hits the ball over to third base. Oh, and he's screaming back at the dugout because nobody was at coaching first base to let him know that he could have taken two on that. Aaron Knight hits the ball out into the outfield, and it is caught for the first out of the inning. Dr. Egger can't advance. Cody Salberg at the plate, puts the ball out into the outfield. It's going deep. They're going back. It's going deep, and it is gone. It's a two-run home run, so they get a couple of runs back. 12-8 to eight is the score now. Big, big hit right there, getting a few runs back. So, brings up Rich Blum. Let's see if he can get something started with a single. Oh, he hits the ball deep. He hits the ball. He's running real fast, and that ball is out of here. Unfortunately, in Mike and Money Shot Softball, if you hit a two-run home run after an, the only home run is a hit, that is a two-out hit. So, Mike and Money Shots go back into the dugout, 12-8. to eight. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. <laughs> Undefeated. Undefeated? Absolutely. Don't hurt me no more. The bow on the front. The bow on the front. <laughs> I, the bow on, I don't want to get. I just feet. gave you the crotch shot. I gave you the crotch shot.